Uh, speaking of great stuff, we're in the kitchen now with Amanda Cupcake. Great to see you. It's good to be back. How's your summer going? It's amazing. Very busy, but amazing. Uh, doing a lot of cupcakes for a lot of people? A lot. A wedding every weekend this summer. That's great. You know, people are really into cupcakes, and um, instead of the whole wedding cake, they're doing right. cupcakes at weddings and, and birthdays. They're fun. They're cute. They make you smile. And they Amanda's do. cupcakes are over the top. They uh, make you happy. They do. <laughs> just looking at them. Um, the ones we're making today are super cute. Uh, strawberries are still very much in season, so we're doing strawberry shortcake cupcakes. Love it. I love that's my, one of my favorite summer desserts. It has to be strawberry shortcake, you know? Yeah, and I wanted to turn the summer festivities into a cupcake. I love it. Super mm -hmm. cute. And they're pink, which I like even more. <laughs> so we're going to start with um, one of the components of this cupcake. Um, it's called a, uh, what, a strawberry jelly. Yeah, it's a strawberry jelly, and there's a few different ways you can make it. The way that I made it today is it's with a corn syrup, corn starch, and sugar base. Okay, so we started with some boiling water. So you add a cup of sugar. Okay. And corn starch. Okay. So I think it's three tablespoons plus two teaspoons. Okay. Of corn starch, and then also three tablespoons of corn syrup. Okay. So we bring that to a boil. Yep, let that One, boil. One, two, I'll just eyeball it. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then what are we looking for to happen with this? So then here? you let it boil and you continue whisking it for about five minutes. Because actually. you don't want those lumps from the cornstarch to, you know. Exactly. You don't want it lumpy. Um, this is going to be kind of like a strawberry pie feeling is what it reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. Um, it's going to go sandwiched in between this. So. My friends always joke that we can just eat it by the spoonful. So oh, it's so good. It smells <laughs> amazing. So, all right, we're going to whisk this and cook it and we'll get back to it in a little bit. We've got strawberry jello and fresh strawberries that we're going to add to it. All right, so let's get on to the um, the actual cupcake okay. itself. So this one's really simple because you can doctor up a cake mix. So you just take a vanilla cake mix. Okay. And I replaced the water with um, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk, so it's got that strawberry shortcake consistency to it. That's a great idea. It's got just... that vanilla y flavor. Yeah. And then add the vegetable oil. Okay. And you can either add vanilla beans or vanilla to it just to give it that vanilla. E flavor. Okay, so one white cake mix, we added to it uh, uh, basically buttermilk, oil, and vanilla. Yep. Just jazzing it up. I'm right. all about jazzing it up. And then three eggs. Should we and, add those now? And three eggs, yes. Okay. So it's just like a vanilla cake mix. And it's really light and moist. All right. All right, so we're going to beat that up. About how many cupcakes does this make, Amanda? This makes about 24 cupcakes. Okay, so 20 for the party. How's our mixture over here doing? It's good. It's boiling, so you just want to keep boiling it. Um, actually, it needs to boil for about five minutes, okay. so it takes a while. Okay, so at home, you're going to you know, let it right. do its thing. Uh, and then once, once it does, then you add the strawberry jello. Okay. Which one is box. three tablespoons, actually. Okay. okay. Oh, three tablespoons, yep. not the whole box. Right. Okay. And you let that cool, and once that cools, you add your strawberry, your diced strawberries, which oh, is about a so cup. Good. Actually, it's about a quart of um, diced strawberries. Okay. So here we've got the add. mixture right over here. Um, this is cooled. We've added our fresh strawberries, and here's our strawberry jelly. It just smells fresh and wonderful. Yeah. And, mm, yummy. It's kind of thick, thick enough where we can do our next step and we can add it to the cupcake. Wonderful. After it bakes. Okay. So now you fill um, your cupcake liners two-thirds full and then you bake it for about 20 minutes. Okay. And Amanda uses um, for this any kind of special liner just looks like the regular white ones yeah, or pink just, ones. or I, You can use really fun ones too. Like pink polka dot ones or anything. Okay. Really. <laughs> just kind of keep with the pink or the strawberry right. thing. Okay, so let's put these together. Here are the baked cupcakes. I'm just curious how this uh, strawberry mixture is going to go with all this. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to make sure your cupcakes um, bake pretty puffy. So, like I said, fill them up about two thirds full when you bake it. A little bit higher than normally. Right. Okay, yeah. Normal. Okay. You want it to be like this puffy. Okay. So that you can cut the top off. And so it'll be like a little cupcake sandwich. Like a biscuit, like you'd cut the biscuits right. for strawberry shortcake, okay? And I have this strawberry buttercream frosting and the recipes on your website. Mm. And the first thing you do is you take that bottom layer of okay. your cupcake. Okay. And you take your delicious strawberry buttercream and you do the swirl like I like to do. Amanda does a homemade buttercream, <laughs> lots of butter and, and uh, mm -hmm. powdered sugar and then a strawberry in there. Yep, there's butter. Um, a lot of butter and the strawberry jelly is actually oh, in this. Okay. That's yeah. what I use because otherwise it gets kind of soupy if you put regular strawberries in okay. it. Okay. So I use that. 
with the powdered sugar and vanilla, mm. and it's really delicious. Mm. And then what I do is I take a spoon. Okay, we've got a spoon right here. So this, that's kind of the next layer then. Right. So I spoon the, um, the strawberry jelly onto that. Which is pretty easy to work with because the jello kind of lets it sets right. up like exactly. that. Exactly. It doesn't okay. get too messy, but messy enough right. where it's right. like, strawberry, like strawberry shortcake. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And then you sandwich it all together like that. Mm. So it's sticking out and you can swirl another swirl of frosting on the top. And Amy, I'm going to let you do the decorating. Oh, you know me. That's my favorite part. Yes. So did you brought the, the glitter, disco dust? The disco dust and the sprinkles. And this actually reminds me of our my favorite cartoon character, Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, it yeah. Doesn't it kind of look like her oh, it a totally little bit? does. So cute. Now, all of Amanda's cupcakes are usually, well, not all, but yeah, I can't think of one that you've done that doesn't have a little glitter. Yeah. Got to have a little bling, right? So a little yes. bit of the, the glitter, and then <laughs> you've also got some pink sprinkles. Right. How cute for a little girl's birthday party. Yeah. And my quote is, some girls are just born with glitter in their veins. Oh, so. I think that might <laughs> have been one, one of those. And lots of pink, too. And then maybe a fresh strawberry on top. Yeah, you can to kind of stick finish a it off. strawberry on top. Oh, those are just <laughs> over the top cute. Love it. We've got some already here uh, plated up for you. Yeah. Now, if you want to uh, get a hold of um, you, Amanda, uh, mm -hmm. to have you do the baking, uh, how should we go about doing that? Well, um, you can find me on Facebook or I have a blog online. You just Google Amanda Cupcake. And I also sell my cupcakes at Cronies in Wapaka on Main Street. And she'll so. be there today. So if you want to try these strawberry shortcake cupcakes, uh, go find her cupcakes at Cronies today. Always great to see you. It's really good to Thanks. see you, too. Thanks. Dive in. I think I'm going to have some, too. Yeah, it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. We'll be back <laughs> with some more fun summer treat ideas. We're making homemade popsicles. And why not treat yourself to a fun night out? Neat thing going on in Green Bay tomorrow night. If you like beer and great food and entertainment, uh, you're going to love this event. And we'll tell you more about it coming up.